This presentation is designed to help you understand the General Education Courses Guide. The General Education Courses Guide provides an overview of courses and looks like this. What's on the guide? Course names, requirements, and categories. First, let's look at course names. Course names and prefixes indicate the department and order of the classes. For example, English 1010. The course name is Rhetoric and Composition. The prefix ENGL tells you it is an English class and the number 1010 tells you where the course falls in the department's curriculum. 1000s are usually intro courses. 2000s are more advanced. Requirements. There are various requirements you should familiarize yourself with. No prerequisites. This means test scores are not required to take the class. A previous course. Example, I want to take English 2010, British Literature, but I have to have taken and passed English 1010 first. Eligible for English 1010 or eligible for Math 1105. This means you must have tested into English 1010 or Math 1105 in order to take the course. Concurrency. This means you must take the course at the same time as another course or after you have completed the other course. For example, if I need to take Biology 2023, I have to take it with Biology 2022 or I must complete Biology 2022 first and then take Biology 2023. Categories provide organization. When you're searching for classes to take, you're not going to be searching for humanities or natural science. What you'll want to do is consult your degree plan and you'll see that you have to take a humanities course. So you'll decide, do you want to take an English, a history, or a communications? If you decide that you want to take history, when you go to search, you will search for history classes. For natural science, let's say you decide that you want to take a biology. So you will not be searching natural science, you will be searching for biology. 